Another common adjustment in portrait photography is modifying the nose. Now, obviously there's nothing wrong with this model's nose. Uh, a lot of times when we do these Photoshop lectures, we use models' photos, which don't even need much retouching, if, if any, but um, just in case you have a client who does want you to adjust their nose a little bit for a promotional photo, two techniques that are pretty good for adjusting the nose. So go ahead and open up princess.jpg. And we first need to make a selection of her nose, so I just use the lasso tool because it doesn't have to be exactly around the nose. We actually want to include a little bit around the area. So click and drag a little bit around here and something like that. All right, so we got an area. We do need to feather this edge, so if you're using this support file, let's go to select, modify feather, and we're going to use two pixels. If you have a higher res file, you might need to use more pixels than that, but should be fine for this example. So once we have a selection here, we need to duplicate it onto its own layer after we've feathered the edge. So go ahead and press Control J. And now if you hit the icon on the bottom, we just have the nose by itself. So now that we have this on its own layer, we can try a couple techniques. So if we go to Edit, Transform, Perspective is one that you might want to try if you just want to change the perspective of the nose. That was not going to work in this example. I'm going to hit escape uh, and go to edit, transform, try warp is a good one to try. If you just click and drag, you just want to slightly adjust the nose. Go and bring in the edge like so. Put these handles here, just depending on what look they're going for. So. And if I hit enter, then there's before and after. It has an edge that we'd have to adjust and use clone stamp tool. But I want to step backward. Let's say for that example, it's not working well, the transform. Another way to do this is to go to filter and then liquify. We can actually use the pucker tool right here. Press the right bracket to make it a little bit larger. And you can just click and let go, click and let go. Just very slightly to make it smaller. Hit OK. And there's before, there's after. It's a very subtle change. You don't want to overdo it, obviously, but in case you're doing promotional photos for an actor, so that's the technique that you can use to adjust the nose and other areas that you might want to adjust either with the liquify or transform effect.